Hello everyone, my name is Slavio Pereira, I'm part of the Technical Enablement and today we're going to talk about the instance metrics and outscaling. So we have to start with the compute instance metrics. So when you launch a compute instance, uh, you have the ability to enable uh, agent, enable the monitoring uh, on that instance. So there's an agent that will be running uh, inside of the instance, they're actually going to collect some information about uh, utilization of CPU, memory, uh, and some other aspects of the instance, for example, the network, the storage, and that's going to give you some information uh, of what's happening inside of your of your machine. So as you can see here on the picture, those are the details that are collected around an instance. You collect information about network, about block storage, boot volume, uh, and also all the aggregate resources uh, inside of the instance, like CPU, memory, um, utilization as well. So this is really important because with that information, with the metrics, uh, you can take some actions. You can decide to scale up your environment. Uh, you can decide to move some uh, workloads around or even you know, uh, fine tune your application to actually adjust to the usage uh, of, uh, of CPU uh, or even um, the operations on the, on the storage and on the network side. So you can, do, you can do some actions in order to uh, allow your application to run uh, better, right, or to perform better uh, in OCI. So with that, uh, we can also do outscaling. Uh, so with the computer compute metrics that's available there, we can have an outscaling configuration that we use those performance metrics and then we'll take some action in order to scale the environment horizontally. So as you can see here, you can uh, define an outscaling configuration where you decided which, which pool you want to use to actually uh, create the outscaling. So we, we set we saw this uh, before. We created the the instance configuration and instance pool, and now we're going to use this pool to create our outscaling. So there's a minimal size of uh, uh, instances you have to use. So in this case, on this picture, I'm just using one instance as the minimal uh, size, and then I can have an initial size of uh, two instances. So which means my my uh, my my application can start with two instances up and running, but if I want to scale that down, I can, the, the, you know, I have to have at least one instance up and running to support my application. So the way it, happen, it happens is um, it, the scaling rule will check all this monitoring uh, information, the performance metrics that's coming from the instance. And then if you can tell if you want to take some action depends on the th threshold uh, that you decided for your scaling rule. So in this example, if you want to say if you if CPU or memory goes um, above seventy percent uh, of usage, you can decide how many instances you want to add, right? If the CPU goes down um, less than you know seventy percent, you can actually remove some of those instances uh, of the pool. So you can see on the picture you actually have the initial size, which was two, and then as you're adding more instances, you just scale. Um, your pool, right? So, and in your pool, if you have configured the load balancer, so all those instances will be attached to the load balancer once they uh, go up, and then deattach when when they go down. Okay. So another type of uh, scaling is actually the vertical scaling. So uh, the outscaling do horizontally scale. I'm just adding more instances to the pool. This case here is more like scale up and down in terms of CPU and memory. So this is actually a, a manual process. You have to go on a console or using the, the, the API uh, to actually change the shape of your CPU. So you can go up and down, you can select which shape you wanna, uh, you wanna go. Uh, after you provision our instance, you can increase the amount of CPU and you can also decrease the amount of CPU. Just keep in mind that just require downtime because w for this process to happen, the machine will go down and then uh, the new shape uh, will take place. Okay, so uh, with that, let's just do a quick demo of outscaling. I'm going to show you how uh, you set up the outscaling um, configuration, how you create the policy, and we're going to do a, a quick demo of uh, scaling up the environment. All right, so let me do a quick demo of the outscaling. Um, if I click on the left menu under compute, there is the outscaling configuration. And I can click on create outscaling configuration here. I can give it a name for my outscaling configuration. Uh, I have a cooldown 
uh, period here in seconds, so the minimum value is 300. I can increase that um, if needed. Then I have the instance pool compartment, um, which is going to run uh, when I'm going to find my pool that I actually created. So I have one instance pool created here. I'm going to use that one uh, for more outscaling. It says ensure that they enable monitoring to allow instances in this instance pool to emit metrics, right? So as I, as, as I said before on the presentation, um, it's going to rely on the metrics of uh, the compute instance to actually take actions here. So outscaling policy, that's the policy name. Then I can select the performance metric that I want to use as part of my um, scaling, uh, scaling rule. So I'm going to use the CPU. And then I can set up the minimal number of instances that I want to restart uh, my uh, environment. So the minimum, the minimum instance is one. It's equal to the amount of instances that I have in my pool. The initial number uh, will be one, uh, one instance as well. But the maximum number of instances that I want is three. So I want to at least have um, uh, three instances uh, if something kicks in on in terms of uh, performance, in terms of usage, and then I'll have more instances provision. On the scaling, uh, on the scaling out operator, so I have a grade there, greater than and greater than or weak or equal, and I will use 70%. So every time the CPU goes over 70% of utilization, I'm going to add uh, one instance to to the pool. So on the way down, on the scale in operator, I would say every time that goes less than, and I should use a number that's not exactly the same number as the greater than, so I would say 69%, right? Every time it goes um, low that, then I'm going to remove one instance of my pool, okay? So I'll go with that um, and see how that works. So let's just create the the outscaling. This is going to show the configuration. Uh, I have all the information here, the compartment, the when it was created, which pool, uh, instance pool I'm using for this outscaling configuration. I can edit here and I can change more inf uh, all the information on the scaling rule on the policy if I need, if I need to increase the, the number of instances. Uh, or change the, the, the threshold here, I can do that as well, okay? So, looks like everything is, is in place. The outscaling is waiting to see um, some usage on the instance and then start going to kick the, the provision. So, let's, let's just do that. Let's just put some weight, uh, some workload, some heavy weight on the machine to see the CPU spikes and then uh, see what's happening, if that's going to uh, create more instances for us. So if I go back to the compute, I'm just going to get, um, I'll get one of the uh, instances that's part of the pool, the minimum one. So I have one here, just one instance uh, up and running right now. Just get the public IP of that. And I will, um, all right, so let me do an SSH to the box here. Uh, and then I have a command called stress, so I can uh, execute stress, and I will use the 60 seconds um, timeout. So this is actually going to kick um, some stress on the CPU. So let's see, um, let's see how that works. So if I go back to the monitoring on the instance, right? If I click back on the instances here. Uh, I'm, I will start. I will start seeing like some of spike on the CPU utilization, so it's just showing some um, um, CPU uh, metrics here. And then once that spike um, hit up the, um, above seventy percent, we'll see more uh, machines to get created um, on on an instance. So right now, since everything is uh, okay, so it's still the monitoring is still catching up all the stress on the CPU. And then once that's, uh, once they recognize it, it's gonna start creating more instances for us. So let's just uh, wait a little bit and then um, we can see more instances getting created. All right, so we can see that uh, a new instance got provisioned right now. Um, 
so if I go to the instance pool, uh, we can see that uh, it's scaling, right? So which means it's provisioning another instance, and that instance should be attached to the load balancer uh, as well, right? So we ha just have to wait here until that instance uh, is provisioned, um, and installed it provisioned. So if you go back to the um, compute instances, if I check my original instance, uh, I can see the spikes, right? So we went over to 100 C 101 and I'm still executing the stress command, uh, which is hogging the CPU 100%. So we're gonna see the, the spike. Uh, we can see that the spike here on the monitoring metrics. All right, so let's wait. Um, that instance will, will become ready, running, up and running. So if I, if I get the public IP of my load balancer, Let's just get that information, um, load balancer, and then get the public IP. And we're just gonna type here. So it's just showing one instance right now until the load balancer recognizes there's another instance um, behind it. So just give me a, give me a few uh, minutes here. So we're gonna see um, the second instance um, be placed on the round robin uh, configuration, right? And then instance pool still saying scaling, which means still finalizing the the running and actually uh, the load balancer portion. All right, so everything is actually finalized. Um, the instance pool looks healthy right now. So let's give it a shot on the load balancer. Yeah, there you go. So now if we kick him, we can see two instances um, showing up. And you can see um, one was placed on AD1. And if I re refresh on the page, uh, the second one was placed on AD2, right? So now I have two instances behind my load balancer um, after I, I put some work um, on my instances. And this is how its scaling will behave and then I'll see you on the next lesson. Thank you.